Hello, my friends, and welcome back to a blind let's play Silent Hill 3 for the PC. My name is Flatless Bird. This is Toy Base Gaming Channel, and this is a drawer that looks suspiciously like it's been opened. Oh boy. Let's see what we got in here. The drawer is open just a smidge. It must be rust or something. I can't pull it out any further. And it is our rope. Oh, wait. I can't seem to get the rope. Is this where the screwdriver is used? Yes, indeed. A huge thank you to everyone in the comment section who are telling me where to go. A uh, special shout out to Custard Horror for letting me know about this drawer. Because I have been everywhere, and by having someone tell me where to go, it's better than me going online and figuring out where to go. Because the problem is, if I Google Silent Hill 3, uh, there's a good chance that I may find some things that I don't want to know about. Uh, so I really do appreciate you all. Thank you so much. We can finally continue on with this game. And... Yeah, I, I do feel a little, I do feel a little bit dumb for not seeing that drawer the first time because it seemed pretty obvious when I looked at it that that drawer was definitely suspicious. I also feel a little bit dumb because um, for some reason I ran up to the fifth floor Thinking that the elevator was on the fifth floor when the elevator that I need to use is actually on the third floor. So we're off to a wonderful start so far. <laughs> uh, in all honesty, I want to say thank you so much for everyone on the channel who have been uh, giving thumbs up to these videos. Um, Silent Hill 3 has become probably the most popular game on my channel at the moment. And I mean, as a small YouTuber, it means a lot. So to see you know that uh five people liked l the last video it, it really means a lot to me thank you so much i use the rope ah <sighs> finally we can get down here will you use the rope to get downstairs let me think about no i'm not gonna think about it i'm just gonna do it ah uh, finally 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 we are somewhere new okay the first thing we're gonna do is check out the elevators and yep it's not gonna work obviously it's not gonna work um, strangely enough, oh, what would bother to climb up that rope? I'm going to look around this floor for now. <laughs> oh, that's great. Heather's like, no, you're not going to make me climb back up. I refuse. <laughs> oh, thank you, Heather. That was awesome. Okay, so the locks are broken and uh, we seem to be in a dark and creepy hallway. Uh, a lot of things. Oh, I love how. It says giant drawer. So you are supposed to find the drawer before you found the screwdriver is what I'm guessing. Okay. Whoa, wait a second. Um. Uh, are you all seeing what I'm seeing? I'm not going crazy, am I? Because this was the exact door configuration that, what was it? Uh, was it Silent Hill 1? Yeah, it was Silent Hill 1. In Silent Hill 1, this door was in the school. The lock is broken. I can't go in it, but still, that, that, that's uh, very disturbing. Oh, we found a locked door. And we found an open door, which surprisingly is empty of monsters? What? Doesn't look like there's anything important around here. Well, we gotta double check. Uh, is this the reception area? There are catalogs scattered around. Anything useful? How about this form right here? Uh, by the way, what the heck is that? Underneath the clock. That is the creepiest... Oh, man. And there's one over here, too. Why do you have multiple of these things? Um... Oh, hello. I didn't even know there was a, a door there. But we can't use it anyway, so it doesn't matter. It's just a bed. Nothing is hiding under the covers. Well, that's probably a good thing. Uh, hello? Looks like uh, more beef jerky. 
surrounded by Dalmatians? A dog for green. It looks real enough to bite. Let's not test it out, shall we? There's a sofa here. It's been really beaten up. I think the uh, the dog treats are trying to tell you, hey, if you haven't been using these, uh, you can use these to lure the dogs. And that's true. I probably should be using them more often because when it comes to dogs, the uh, the only thing I can do is really use a gun on them. I can't melee them. Lampoids and flower blazes. I don't need either of these. This is really creepy how there's like no enemies around. It's just for display. It can't really be used. Uh, bathroom display. There's a dark red stain on the bottom. Yeah, that looks disgusting. Looks like something out of a saw film. No, thank you. A display of paper towel holders? There's nothing here. What? Like, all of this is, like, bathroom supplies. This is really weird. So something here? Uh, it's cracked fire rose. Is this supposed to be for sale too? I was I was more interested in the drawer. <laughs> Especially after the last drawer. Okay, let's go in here. And once again, no enemies. How much is just in here? I guess I can just forget about it. Now, Heather is specifically looking at this drain though. See, I should have realized that with the drawer, how she turned her head. I knew it. Oh! What the? What the heck is going on? I swear, someone, if it's being invaded by the other world. By a world of someone's night someone's nightmarish delusions come to life. If someone ever decides to rewatch this series of mine, go back and count how many times I said what is that or something like that. No, not again. Yeah, I know. Ooh, this ain't gonna be good. She. Uh, I just realized uh, there was no subtitles there. Was there never any subtitles? Um, no, there was subtitles. Okay, this is weird. I did not turn this off. So why did this turn off? Was this never on? Because if this was never on, I really apologize. Because I always like to have subtitles in my game. Because I sort of have hearing issues at time. And being able to read subtitles is very helpful to me. Uh, so if you're someone like that as well, I apologize if that was off by default. Or did the game just magically turn that off like it turned on uh, Japanese uh, voices? I don't know. I just hit the handle, but nothing's coming out. Well, that's good at least. Oh boy. We should have explored the other world a bit more. Well, that's. That's gotta be one of the most horrible things I've seen in a while. So it shows different sides of a person's face and then their mouth. And then what looks like them being persecuted, almost like crucified, because their arms are outstretched and the body is like slumped down. It's super creepy. All right. Oh, hello. Oh, hello to you too. Um. I really don't like this game anymore. <laughs> this is not cool. The mummy-like thing in the wheelchair is just a doll. Or or is it? Something about it makes me uneasy. Why, I wonder. Do you have to ask, like, seriously? Do you have to ask why it makes you uneasy? What the? Can't actually click on this, by the way. But what in the world is going on here? And there's actually some... What I assume is Greek lettering at the top there. Now, I don't know Greek, so I can't read that. But if someone knows Greek, please translate that for me. That'd be great. All right, here we go. I have no idea what this is, but it just knocked me on my butt. Oh my goodness. Whatever this creepy crawly thing is 
It is horrible. Just let go of me. This thing is horrifying. What is that thing? Okay, I'm still doing sort of okay though. What is this noise? Huh. Okay, just a weird plant. I don't know what kind of plant this is, but it's withering away. Poor thing. Poor thing? How about us? What are the poor things in this story? Um, hello? Can I see what's over here? Oh, it's a sea point. Oh, there's something here. Find the Holy One. Kill her? Question mark? Huh. Oh, it's us. That's me. Who could have taken this photo? That's really creepy. So we're the Holy One. That kind of makes sense, considering everything else that we know that's going on so far. Although I thought we would be like the demonic one. But then again, if you're a, if you're a demon worshiper, uh, the one who can set free the demon would be considered the holy one by your definition, I guess. Um, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Uh, but <laughs> I just got the feeling like, you know, someone needed us to set free like some sort of god. Like we were a key of some kind. Because that's what I got from Claudia. Hello, who are you? If you say your name is Ernst, I'd be really afraid. Please don't say your name is Ernst. Heather. That's what you're called now, isn't it? And who are you? The name's Vincent. Don't forget it, okay? Not Ernst. That's good. I'm on your side. So you say. But how do I know you're not with her? Her? You mean Claudia? Please don't lump me together with her. She was totally brainwashed by that crazy old hag. Well, I guess crazy old hag is a bit harsh. She is your mother, after all. Mother? My mother? What do you mean? You don't remember? So, Harry didn't tell you anything. Harry? Harry Mason? I guess he hid the truth to keep you on his side, eh? That figures. He's a pretty sneaky guy. Don't talk about my dad like that! Sorry. I apologize. Please, calm down. How do you know my father anyway? I know everything. I know about your past, too. Then tell me what's going on. You don't know even that? That's why I'm asking. If you know everything, then tell me how I can put an end to this. Not yet. Why not enjoy yourself a bit longer? Enjoy? I feel like I'm going crazy. Does this place get to you at all? Oh, it gets to me all right. I find it most fascinating. Creepy. Wait! I'm not finished talking! I knew you were on her side. How do you figure? There's something wrong with you two. So does she know... Vincent too? Oxidol. No idea what that is, but I just got a ton of things. Uh, so apparently, Heather is Heather Mason, the daughter of Harry Mason. Now, I was told um, a while back ago, uh, when I was playing Silent Hill 2, that Silent Hill 3 was a direct sequel to Silent Hill 1. And then, I think it was Custer, not sure, apologized, saying... Hey, I'm sorry for saying that. I didn't want to spoil it. And I was like, I don't know how you can spoil it by telling me it's a direct sequel. Because, I mean, I, I don't know how it's related to the original Silent Hill 1. 
And I speculated, you know, hey, wouldn't it be cool if uh, if we were playing as the daughter from the Good Plus ending? And apparently we are playing as the daughter from the Good Plus ending. But still, I, I had no idea that that was a thing until I just saw that scene. Uh, I, I actually thought maybe we were Claudia, uh, not Claudia, but like Dahlia's lost daughter. Uh, I think that would have actually been really interesting if we were the evil lady's daughter. Um, and, you know, there was something going on there. Uh, but looks like uh, we are Heather Mason, which is really cool to know that we're playing as the daughter of the legendary Harry Mason. Um, but that still doesn't explain a lot of what's going on. So, TV looks broken. And, and we're, we're the daughter of... The woman? He mentioned the old woman. I'm assuming that's Dahlia? Maybe? Or is that Claudia? How are we the daughter of Claudia or Dahlia? I, I don't... A lot of that's going over my head right now. Uh, only one thing is for sure, and that is... Um, we gotta press on, right? I mean, that's the only thing we can do, is keep searching for clues. Uh, Oxidol uses to disinfect cuts and stuff. It foams when you put it on. Hmm... So that's the only item that we picked up. We can't uh, examine it further. We do have two health drinks. We have three ampules. I don't think I'll go in this room. That weird guy's in there. And who is Vincent? Like, she, it, it sounds like she knew who Vincent was. And it sounds like she knows who Claudia is, too. How does she know these people? I'm gonna go ahead and clear out this room before I go anywhere else. Whoa! Ah, oh, stupid dogs. I hate these dogs. Ah, oh, six shots, right? One. Oh! Oh! How about that? We were able to save two bullets because we shot him out of the air. How awesome was that? That was great. Heather, you're, you're a crack shot. And that dog came out of freaking nowhere! I just missed twice, didn't I? I sure did. <sighs> Can't see! There we go, six shots. Now you step on them. Step on them again. One more time, just make sure. Okay, I still hear noises though. Okay, it's starting to go away, so we should be in the clear. Uh, let's go ahead and reload our gun. And let's uh, use... Um, use a first aid. And we'll equip our katana again. And let's continue on, shall we? Where haven't we been? Oh, we've been here. We haven't been down, though. No reason to go down. The lock is broken. Okay, well, let's check the bathrooms. So bathrooms in Silent Hills normally hold something. Uh, push the button, nothing happens. However, this one does work. Interesting. It's a really creepy elevator, by the way. <laughs> that elevator is spooky as can be. I want to get out of there as soon as possible. Uh, there's the emergency staircase that we need to check out. It should be uh, right here. That lock is broken as well. Okay. Uh, we need to go to the other side. Nope, we're not going to the other side. Okay, well, I guess we are going through the elevator. So who the heck is Vincent? And who is Claudia? We haven't figured that out yet. Okay, floor five it is. I was just going down the number six, five, four, three, two, one, but five hit. What is that on the floor? Oh, that's the way the greens are made, but man, that's creepy. It almost looks like a cell door. 
All right. Looks like there's a giant pit here. Yep, giant pit there. Do not want to go down giant pit. Guess the button uh, doesn't work. What else is new? Got a giant pit that way. Man, these giant pits really make it easy to navigate around this uh, this building, doesn't it? Surprisingly, nothing with the bathrooms, though. Oh, what is that? Where is that coming from? Okay. Well, on the end of the hallway here. What is that noise? Oh, it's that thing again. Heather, I need you to swing that sword a little bit faster. God, I hate these things. Can't really melee them. Yeah, you can't really melee these guys because they hit you no matter what happens. These guys are horrible. Now, they don't do a lot of damage though. That was another one. Um, should I, I should probably. I have no idea if it's down or not the way it was moving like that. Yeah, it wasn't down. It, it pretended to be down. So you would run up to it and it would grab you. Man, that is some devious monsters. We only have seven bullets, by the way. That's not good. We do have some shotgun shells, though. You know, um, Heather, your dad found uh, the rifle, I think, way before... Uh, Way before you did, possibly. Uh, maybe you should find the rifle, okay? Uh, we got some handgun bullets, at least. That's good. Giant cell doors or something. No more cigarettes for me. I quit for good. Oh, that's good for you. Not gonna judge people who smoke, but I personally have huge respiratory issues. And just being around smoke causes me to uh, be unable to breathe. So whenever someone's smoking, I, I can't, I can't, yeah, it's like my entire body just stops working. Uh, that's partly why I was so afraid of the uh, coronavirus for a long time. Uh, because until I got vaccinated, uh, if I had gotten sick with uh, COVID, um, I don't have normal uh, respiratory resistances like other people. There's a giant door here. Why is there a giant door here? This giant door literally locks you away from like 5% of this room and yet it exists. And there's a monster back there for some strange reason. Silent Hill, I don't get you sometimes. You're just weird. And I guess that's part of the charm now. It's the fact that... The fact that it is just weird. Did anyone else hear dogs howling at a moon? And there's the wheelchair again. What is the symbolization of the wheelchair in the Silent Hill games? Wait a second. It's like a mirror of some kind. There's a big sheet of glass in the way. It doesn't break when I hit, so maybe it's not glass after all. I don't know why, but the world on the other side is calling me. I'm not down to you, Heather. I just had to check, okay? <laughs> okay, let's go back in that door so I can check the other door. All right. Okay, we got a save point here. I definitely will take that. Is this the uh, painting room? Oh my lord. What is that? There's a caption under the picture. Blame purifies all. That's not the first time we've heard that. By these remains, may a person find the road to paradise. I've seen this picture before. No, wait. I've never seen it. But I do know it somehow. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to try to see if I can take the bucket. Because the bucket... 
helps. Uh, the picture that was here is gone. Now there's just a caption. All right. I like how the uh, save point is where the picture used to be. Almost like the save point is a picture. It's a cool touch there. We really saved the game 22 times. I feel kind of bad about that. <laughs> I want to check this other door. Okay, lock is broken. Doesn't matter. Now, normally when you find a save point like this and a door leading out like this, uh, there's a boss, but we'll see. Picture. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Um. Uh. Matches. Picture would burn sure, but a match would go out quickly. Is there a way to make the flame stronger? Well, try combining it with whatever this is. What am I supposed to do with this? Uh. I was, I was hoping it would make the flame stronger. I still need something else. Hmm. Still need something else. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um, let's look at our map. And let's see where we have gone and where we haven't gone. We haven't gone all the way over to the left. So there is a chance. Okay, that just totally freaked me out. That uh, that wheelchair, the way it was lit up like that. Oh, that caused me to jump. Ooh, all right. I need to turn here and go left. Of course the lock is broken. Come on, one of these doors have to work. One of these doors have to work. I hit you, game. I hit you even more now, game. <laughs> What was that? Uh, so these doors don't work. That means that the item we need has to be in one of those other back rooms. This is where we got the matches. But if you see, I'm clicking like crazy. What are you looking at, Heather? Are you looking at the door? Yeah, it looks like no more cigarettes for me at Crypt for Good. Okay. So I don't really see her looking at anything but this door here. And then we have whatever this is. Yes, I'm trying to kill this thing by stabbing it through the through the fence. There's like two of them back there. Okay, that's not gonna work. Yeah, I, I don't think this is gonna work. Good news is though they can't hit me. So that's a plus. But what if the thing I need is back there? The thing I need is back there. How do I get them out? Hmm. I'm not sure. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming something that doesn't need to be assumed. I'm assuming that the elevator can only go to one floor. I don't know why I assume that. Or maybe I just forgot the elevator was here. To be honest, I don't remember what floor I started on. Started on floor two. Okay, so floor four is new. That's nice. <laughs> this game just this game just makes me freeze so many times. 
I hear like this horrible sound and I just don't want to go near it. It's like every impulse of my body says don't go near whatever that was. And by the way, why are there what looks like people hanging? God, I... Great. Okay, so floor four is basically the uh, uh, the key floor or the locked floor, I should say. Let's check floor three, shall we? Number three. Number one. Okay, we can go to floor one. This is our last chance, my friends. If there's nothing in floor one, I have no idea how to get past... Uh... That painting. What is that? What? I don't think I'm getting anywhere. What is that? That is horrifying. All right. What is that noise in the background? It's like a humming noise. Oh, we got a big guy. Um, yeah, let, let's worry about the register in a second. It looks like it's only the big guy in here. If so, we can take him out. Or oh, we have been able to take him out. It's possible he may get a hit on me, but... One hit is not the worst in the world. Compared to saving a ton of bullets. I love this katana. Have I said I love this katana before? I want to say that. I love this katana. Oh, this katana is amazing. Alright, we got some shotgun shells. Are you still alive? Die already! Oh my goodness, he's still alive! Oh, he just backhanded me. That is not nice. You do not treat a girl like that. Okay. 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 All right. All right. He's actually dead this time. My gosh, I kicked that guy three times in the head. And he still came up after me. I can't get that needle, by the way. Yeah, I can't get that needle. What's this? For some reason, the only thing in the fridge is liver. I hope it's not mine. I got pork liver. Really? Fridge is empty, obviously. All that's left is a red blood stain and one god awful bloody stench. Yeah, unfortunately, that backhand hurt a lot. Okay, let's see what that, uh. This one in the cafe's fridge. Can I do something with it before it goes bad? Um, can we heat it up? No. Can't use that here. Hmm. I really hope this isn't Race Against Time. Because I plan on doing a little bit more exploring. There's a dirty glass on the counter. It looks average enough. Really? Okay. Can't go into the door behind the bar. Um, is the register broken? There's money scattered all over. Can I go in? Can I go around? No? Hmm. Now, I should have the audio settings on my uh, recording setup, so you can't actually hear me clicking on the controller. But I can guarantee you, I was clicking on the controller all the way around that, uh, trying to find something. All right, we can still go straight. Why do I hear the radio? It's because of that thing. It's locked. Of course it's locked. Everything in this place has to be locked. All right. I just have to know. This may be a waste, but I have to know. Uh, nope. It was a waste. Okay. 
Well, like I said, I had to know. Um, but now I took a couple shots at that thing. I think I can clearly say uh, there is nothing for us there. All right, so we're on floor one. Monster, question mark. <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, I love her notes. Her notes are fantastic. Uh, do we want to try to use the items on the monster? No, wait. What if we try to feed the monster? I know that sounds horrifying, but... Let's see here. Combine, no, not combine, use. All right, combine with the matchbook. Okay, I can't use any of that here. None of it works. But I had to check because if I go all the way back up to the uh, fourth floor, no, the fourth floor is the locked door. Uh, which floor is the one where I had the um, uh, the thing? It was the fifth floor. If I go, if I went all the way up to the fifth floor, and the solution was to feed the monster the uh, the meat, I would have felt really uh. Really bad, I will admit. Okay. Uh, we need to run, we need to go all the way around, unfortunately, to uh, to get to this room, which means enemies may have respawned, so be on your guard. Yeah, get me out of that hallway as fast as possible. <laughs> Okay. I, I still don't know how the liver is supposed to help us, to be honest. Uh, let's see. It does work. Why does the liver... Maybe it's because we had to have something to burn? Ah, oh, that's it. We need something to burn. Because if we just were to put the match in like that, it would have just gone out. Ah, I see. This is a really disturbing image, by the way, of everything being set on fire. What the heck? What the? Oh, uh, we went through a door in a picture. And that room looks absolutely terrifying. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a pause here. <laughs> oh boy. Whew. You know, someone uh someone said, sorry, um I, I I wish I could shout out your names, but y'all have commented a lot and I really do appreciate that. Uh but anyway, they they said that this game seems to freak me out a lot more than Silent Hill 1 and 2. Yes. This game does freak me out a lot more than I wanted to. This game is, for some reason, just so much scarier. I mean, between, like, the noises that happen when you're walking around, to the grotesque monster designs, to the fact that this game has no chill and just will constantly kill you. Yeah, uh, this, 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 this... Oh, boy. Um... I love you all so very much. Thank you for everything. And until next time, my friends, uh, so long. Take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter. You are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.